interests and what you like or dislike are all experiences that create expansion within your spirit. More importantly, it is never too late to learn. You may have just left behind an old life, previously gone through separation or divorce, begin a new job or career path, or started a family. It might seem confronting now, but don't be afraid to ask for help or advice about these matters. Support is available to you, just ask. Right now, you are in a process of learning, career goals, education, and skills, skill-based training are now a focus. This new information is needed for the next step of your life. You may be feeling that you aren't up to the task ahead. Don't fear. Everything you need will be available to you in divine timing. It may feel like you are on the edge of not knowing what to do next. All that means is that this is a new experience and you require more information for the journey ahead. Research your area of focus. A new level of study or education will benefit you now as you prepare and organize your future. Shadow aspects to be mindful of during this period within yourself and others. Restriction, okay? Illiteracy, discouraging behaviors or self-talk. Your sacred crystal, azurite, azurite. Okay, A-Z-U-R-I-T-E. Um, your angel assistance is Archangel Azrael. Okay, the Archangel specializing in life transition, support, and comfort. Your affirmation. My mind is open. I learn new information easily. Learning through life experiences. Educate your mind and senses, Cancer. Okay, that is your oracle guidance. And we are going to go ahead and get right into your Celtic Cross spread. Decks are already been pre-shuffled. and then we will um, clarify them. What's the present and current situation for cancer? situation. What's the past issue? Cancer's crowning thoughts in the situation. What's the immediate future? The 
beautiful. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of um, impatience. And like I said, if you feel like this energy is not resonating with you, Cancer, then it definitely could be a person or someone in your energy field. Feel free to reverse the roles. Um, but there's a lot of frustration here. Um, I need to really organize, okay, your life. What's uh, your fears? Environmental factors. How are others seeing you? What are your hopes and wishes? possible outcome if you have a question in your mind right now cancer this will be the answer <clears throat> but um, possible outcome okay the model of the deck okay um, for your reading right now we have um, the hair font we have the hair font. So um, there's definitely um, underlying energy here around um, tradition, um, a possible commitment, spirituality, higher levels of learning, respect. This is Taurus energy. Okay, so all right. <clears throat> cancer the present situation what's going on currently with you okay we have the five of cups okay so there is some type of despair or pain um i don't know why it's such a glare i don't know why it's such a glare that's not good at all it's so bright okay hopefully um I can fix that but one second let me see if I can fix that that's really bright <sighs> see if that's any better <clears throat> a little okay so the current situation is the five of cups so some losses some emotional pain And this image this person is really focused on the spilt cups okay the three spilt cups but there are two cups that are still standing behind her and behind her is also a bridge a bridge to reach you know new potential but there is this feeling of hopelessness of um, of loss okay something has been lost and um, There is some pain here, all right? Um, scorpionic energy. And what is crossing you? We have the, the eight, okay, of cups. It came out in reverse, all right? So, um, there definitely is a feeling of hopelessness or drifting or um, holding on to something that no longer serves you, okay? Now, even though this came out in reverse, it speaks of hopelessness and drifting and, you know, uh, rejection. But what is crossing you, cancer, is... Um, 
the Eight of Cups and the inability to walk away from something or to see the potential in possibly moving on from a situation that no longer serves you. So in a way, this is helpful and challenging. Um, what's challenging you is not being able to see the beauty in letting go and moving forward because of being so intent, so stuck in your emotional body, okay? Unable to see um, what's behind you, which is um, hope. Hope of moving toward a brighter future, moving toward emotional um, balance, you know, that ninth and tenth cup, that satisfaction, all right? And um, the Eight of Cups is Pisces energy. Um, what the past issue is, is the Knight of Swords. Okay, the Knight of Swords. So the past issue involves communication, right? Something came in quickly and swiftly revolving around truth being spoken. This could also speak of someone who may have been overbearing, a stubborn energy, the past issue involves this knight of, of swords, okay, something to do with truth, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. The past issue, um, the immediate past and what's behind you is the lovers in reverse. Okay, so Cancer. Um, this is definitely, the situation is revolving around a very um, deeply spiritual connection, possibly a twin flame connection. Um, Gemini energy here with the lovers in reverse. It speaks of some um, type of disconnect. Um, the inability to make a choice involving a person or a um, decision or circumstance. This could also indicate um, being imbalanced and um, lack of self-love but ultimately the lovers revolves around in reverse it's okay there's in the immediate past, there has been a disconnect with an a connection or something revolving around communication.
or ethics or values, okay, in a very intimate relationship. separation and a major conflict okay within this this deeply spiritual connection yeah whatever this is it deeply affected you because my energy just in describing the card was very choppy and disconnected so um, I feel like a lot was left unsaid or a lot of pain or a lot of issues revolving around the miscommunication, okay? Your crowning energy. Your thoughts regarding the situation. We have the King of Wands, okay, and the King of Wands is in reverse. There is, um, Definitely frustration, okay? There is a lack of passion here, and that is um, first and foremost um, something that may have been very frustrating for you, is what I'm getting. The Page of Wands in reverse is very. Um, intolerant energy. Um, there's a feeling that I'm getting of a loss of respect or um, a lack of respect. The feeling as though you can't trust your intuition. Um, lack of leadership. Definitely lack of action, okay? Um, there's a, a whole feeling of stagnation in regards to not being able to move forward, um, feeling stuck in a cycle in terms of a very highly spiritual connection um, and um, a lot of despair around communication. Um, wow, so that's your crowning energy, your immediate future. What's about to happen is the sun. We have the sun here, so that's really, really beautiful. Um, this is letting you know, Cancer, that um, your future is bright. Um, there is success and joy and new beginnings. One of the most positive cards in the deck. I do apologize for this glaring um, tent to this um, reading, but so yeah, your immediate future is the sun and it's a uh, very positive energy. This is new love, this is proposals, this is new business, joy. Moving out of the darkness, um, moving past depressive feelings or sorrow and onto uh, greener pastures and um, brighter opportunities. Leo energy. Your um, fears is the um, five of wands, okay? Your fears is the five of wands, so you fear conflict. Right? You fear um, a lot of 
outside noises, you fear what other people think about, you know, your choices. Um, and the Five of Wands also indicates, you know, especially when it's in reverse, just a lot of self-doubt, okay? And um, you fear making the wrong choices. And it's almost just like you fear having to make a choice. You fear having to make a decision. And there's a lot of avoidance and um, evasion here. So you may also fear that the other end of this situation or relationship, um, when it comes down to forward action, there is going to be some type of avoidance or evasion, okay? How others see you, your environmental issue factors, and um, how others in your environment may see you. Um, and there you are, um, standing tall. It's um, the king of cups, okay? Masculine water energy. For me as a reader, Cancerian energy. So there you are. Um, so many people that you are around, in your environment, they see you as someone who is very, very loving, who loves to create balance, who's intuitive, who you know leads with their heart, but make really good decisions. Someone who's in, you know intuitive and generous and strong. So this is how. Um, others see you your hopes and what you really wish for we have the page of cups in reverse so um, what you really wish for with the page of cups in reverse here is um Page of Cups represents new beginnings, opportunities, um, and even apologies or an opportunity to see things clearly um, in terms of one's emotions. But yeah, it's insight as well. But this being in your hopes and dreams, I'm getting a feeling that um, either you could be hoping for um, a new beginning with a water energy, a water sign, but what I'm getting from this is that you're hoping to be free of energies around you or coming forward that are immature or that are insecure. And um, you're wishing for emotional balance, all right? In order to be more insightful, more intuitive, more happy, more confident, to attract that to you. And the answer to your question and your outcome is judgment. All right, judgment. So this is really beautiful. Um, your outcome is freedom. It's it's resolving and addressing your karma. It's being free about who you are. Removing restrictions from your life doing some deep work on yourself so that you can face yourself and ultimately um, answer the call of your purpose, of your life. And, um, you know, I just get freedom here. All right, so that's your <clears throat> potential outcome. And we're just gonna clarify. the 
Five of Cups, please. The Cancer's current energy. All right, so to clarify the um, Five of Cups, which is this despair and, um, yeah, let's pull it back a little bit. Despair and um, the inability to really um, see what you have um, available to you because you're focused on some type of loss, an emotional loss. Um, you have the Eight of Swords in reverse, so... You are coming out of a period where um, there was some mental entrapment and difficulty um, seeing things clearly, um, mental confusion, all right, Gemini energy, but with the um, Eight of Swords in reverse, this is gaining clarity and gaining truth about a situation that may have had you um, at a loss or emotionally unstable. Can I find the Eight of Cups? Yeah. You have the Eight of Cups, all right, um, for your um, challenging energy. And um, it's being clarified with the three of pentacles. So um, this definitely could involve a third party situation, which is why there's this feeling of hopelessness, this inability to make a decision to walk away, to move forward, um, holding on to a lot of emotional baggage. Um, and to clarify this, and what's challenging you is your environment, okay? Um, we have Earth energy here with the Three of Pentacles. And um, there could be really um, toxic energies in your environment um, that are very competitive, that are interfering in your affairs. All right. So the challenge for you during this period is really evaluating who you are attaching your energy to. And um, focusing on what serves your greatest and highest good and moving forward towards your full potential emotionally. Knight of Swords. Who's Knight of Swords? Your past issue was revolving around the Knight of Swords, okay? And to clarify the Knight of Swords, we have the Four of Swords, okay? So um, the past issue has something to do with the Knight of Swords energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, and that entailed communication okay in some way past issue was this knight of swords energy um not communicating um or communicating harshly Whatever this was about, it led to a heartbreak or pain, um, something about a third party possibly. Um, after the Three of Swords, which is grief, betrayal, pain, heartbreak, loss, comes the Four of Swords, okay? Um, someone definitely took time out, okay, to... Um, 
deal with some heartbreak or to deal with some um, issues surrounding some deception. Could be a divine masculine, could be an Aries energy, but um, let's get one more on the Knight of Swords. And we have the um, Five of Cups in reverse. Okay, so the past issue was It definitely was a message that was delivered about a third party situation. That led to a period where there was no communication because someone may have focus their attention on someone else. Someone could have went back to a water sign or a Scorpio. And that left you, Cancer, very much misaligned, disconnected, heartbroken, Two of Cups, bottom of the deck. Yeah. Um, it left you feeling unworthy and struggling emotionally. What's behind? Let's clarify what's behind Cancer. clarify the, the lovers in reverse we have the ten of cups so um your immediate past is um there's a lot of love <laughs> um there's a lot of love here cancer for a twin flame okay or for a deeply spiritual bond, all right, that is um, in separation. I, it feels as though this love is very like like mutual, like it's a highly spiritual connection, but for some reason this this love can't be expressed, all right. Ten of Cups, we have Piscean energy here, but this is like ultimate wish fulfillment. This is love this is joy and um complete fulfillment but sedated unable to be expressed And that's clarifying what's behind your immediate past. Um, can we clarify the um, the King of Wands? Your thoughts on this whole situation with the King of Wands and what clarifies that is the Queen of Pentacles. So <clears throat> there's a lot of resentment and frustration um feeling as though there is a lack of passion and um that someone in the situation didn't respect you um that 
yeah, and this could have led to a lot of impulsive um, actions. But to clarify this King of Pentacles, which is your thoughts regarding the situation, Cancer is the Queen of Pentacles. So it looks like you're you're turning this. this rage or this a lot of this had to do with ego or or feeling left out or feeling disrespected in some way yeah a lot of unresolved passion and um, impulsive energy, um, you, you turn that into focus, okay, um, on manifesting something new. Um, building something new, creating something. You could feel as though this whole situation has something to do with your mother or um, someone's mother or motherly energy or the mother of someone's child Okay, it could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn um, energy, but what I'm getting from this is that there was some type of transformation, okay, that happened because of everything that you went through. And we have this very stable, nourishing energy here with the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, your overall thoughts on the um, situation. You definitely felt left out in the cold. Um, you definitely felt a lack of confidence because of the situation. But you are building something new. You are building and growing. and nurturing your needs. And um, focusing on self-love at this time. Yeah, you're building 10 of Pentacles, Virgo energy. There is something that's faded that's coming in for you and um, all that you've been through is bringing you here, okay? It's bringing you here. Success, happiness, family, healing. Clarify the sun, okay, for Cancer's immediate future. the sun in your immediate future we have um the three of cups is in reverse okay so um this is beautiful energy with the sun so obviously there is this energy of success and joy and new beginnings but with the three of cups in reverse coming out it looks as though um There could be some shadow work that's needed, all right? Three of Pentacles in reverse typically speaks of some type of overindulgence or um, something to do with your environment or the community. A disconnection or feeling stifled in some way. 
This could also indicate a third party situation, okay? That could still be prevalent or the energy of a third party um, putting a damper on what you're working on, what you're moving toward, all right? But on the bottom of the deck, it could be another Cancer or a water sign, but on the bottom of the deck, we have the Magician here. So you don't have anything to worry about. You have all the tools that you need to manifest um, all of your desires and um, you're thinking clearly. You are skilled at what it is that you do and you're manifesting at a high rate. So I don't think you have anything to worry about, um, but that is part of your energy in the future. Um, the Three of Cups in reverse is just saying be mindful of overindulgence, okay? Be mindful of a third party energy. Clarify the Five of Wands for Cancer's Fears. Too many cards came out, but I'll just take them. To clarify the Five of Wands in reverse for your fears, we have three cards that came out, all right? Um, the Two of Cups, the Star card, and the Ten of Pentacles. So your fears are surrounded around um, some type of avoidance or um, lack of confidence. Self-doubt. Well, yeah, it's self-doubt um, in terms of building new, well, actually, it could be some self-doubt within yourself. This is your energy here with the Two of Cups, but I feel like it's just, you know, self-doubt in your abilities, okay, to form new um, partnerships, to heal, to um, move toward your dreams and your goals, to trust in your inner light so that you can build and be open to everything that the universe is bringing your way because we have the Ten of um, Pentacles here. So um, it's just beautiful energy here. It's healing within your family. It's, you know, building solid connections. Your finances look beautiful. Um, the Ten of Pentacles is success. It is achievement. All right, and it's complete satisfaction. So um, your fears, you need to let those go and have confidence in your abilities and also stepping out there and um, forging partnerships with others who can help you move toward, you know, some of your goals as well. All right. And how others see you. I thought the King of Cups. This is, you know, how others see you. People see you as giving, generous, you know, uh, caring, intuitive. But they also see you as, um, you know, kind of complacent. Um, just kind of, you know, stuck in one place. Maybe um, a fear of accepting something new. A fear of accept accepting an offer. So stuck in your emotional body that you can't really see what's, um, being um, delivered to you. Okay. You definitely could be dealing with another water sign. Can we clarify um, Cantor's hopes? What they really wish for? Can we... Um, Clarify with this page of cups and reverses. Cancer's wishes. All right, Cancer. So you you're wishing for um, to step into your power. You're wishing for stability. Um, 
in some instances, this could be wishing for um, balance with a mother figure or healing with a mother figure. Um, like I said, the page of cups in reverse speaks of, you know, having lack of clarity and lack of intuition and um, just being emotionally imbalanced and um, unable to um, see past um, illusions. Um, it's also, you know, immaturity or insecurity. So what you're wishing for is to really move past insecurities and um, move past this feeling of just being stuck in your emotions or apathetic and grow into yourself um, to, you know, this also indicate a business. You're trying to grow a business or you're trying to um, believe in your creative ideas. This could also represent a divine feminine energy, Taurus or Libra. But what you um, really are wishing for is just stability, balance, okay, from a possible third party situation, just balance within yourself. Um, manifestation, okay? That's what you're wishing for. Yeah. You're wishing to release a burden. All right, to end a cycle. And lastly, can we clarify your outcome, which was judgment? Clarify judgment for um, cancer, please. Okay, so to clarify judgment, which is absolution, um, a new beginning, freedom, a new life, self-evaluation, and purging, all right? This is what your outcome is, okay? So yes, there is an opportunity here for growth and renewal, addressing karma, and being free, all right? To clarify the judgment card, we have the Page of Cups. So there is um, a possible offer coming through. We had the Page of Cups twice. So an offer coming through, um, an apology, a um, someone who could be a bit immature or younger could be coming through. Um, inspired by you or wanting to inspire, but um, this could be a small offer that's coming your way, but this could also represent just, you know, a new beginning, a brand new beginning, healing, and there you are, the Queen of Cups, you know, I see you focusing on your what makes you happy, you know, um, stepping into that unconditional love energy, first of all, for yourself and um, healing, trusting your intuition. Answering the call of your life and yeah, I definitely see a lot of creativity and something brand new starting. And um, I see whatever it is that you are putting all your love into, your focus, it will be protected and it will be fruitful. Okay, so that is your monthly intuitive energy reading. I hope that this was helpful for you guys. Um, in the extended, we're going to go into some of the energies that are coming through for you. Who is coming through for you? Um, your person's energy, their blockages, and um, what their potential actions will be based on those energies. All right. Um, 
We have a lot of completion energy here for you. A lot of threes, okay? Um, a lot of balance that's needed. The signs that I already picked up on for you are definitely um, another water sign, okay? Possibly another Cancer, uh, Scorpio, or Pisces. We definitely have Taurus very strongly, as well as Gemini and Leo. Okay, so if I um, do not see you guys in the extended, all right, love and light to you all, and um, keep your vibrations high, and um, know that in the twilight of the darkest and coldest night of December, Remember that you will be fine. Nothing can stop what's truly divine.